Hello everyone, welcome back to Studio 6 Sports. So today I'm going to be showing you how I made my custom Captain Rex minifigure. So I started off with this 501st Trooper and I just removed some of the printing except for that area around the visor because I'll be painting over that later. If you want to know how to remove the printing off of these figures, uh, I've got a separate video which will be linked in the description. So then I made the pauldron. Um, so to do this, I just drew around a Lego figure body. And then as you can see, I made it so that it fits along the top of a Lego figure and then I drew on the pauldron and then what I did then was uh, stuck some tape underneath and then I got a craft knife and scored some lines uh, where the pauldron's gonna fold and then I just stuck some more tape on to make sure that the pauldron would stay bent when I put it on the figure and I'll probably do a tutorial for this in the future and then I made the Karma, so I made this from scratch which is a bit different to the tutorial on my channel so if you haven't got a Karma then this is the way you can make them and I'll just let you see the rest of this uh, mini tutorial I guess And then I just added a few 3D parts, which is just some shoulder pads and a little bit of a neck brace. And then I moved on to the painting. So at this point, I decided to add on a rangefinder, which I then found out was a bad idea because I hadn't finished with the painting yet. And also I painted it white, which is actually inaccurate because I was just looking at a phase one photo. I didn't realize the phase two had a gray rangefinder. So I tore it off and then I fixed it later on in the video. And then I moved on to adjusting the visor. So to do this, I used a scalpel to scrape away some of the printing and then I used some Citadel black paint to uh, fill in any gaps and I think that turned out really really well and then I had to do the blue markings on the face and the knees and also the arms and I think those turned out uh, pretty good and then I moved on to the more difficult part on the top of the helmet and that took quite a few tries but I got there eventually and although it wasn't perfectly neat it was still uh, pretty good and it looked a lot better once I did the battle damage and then I did the welding marks using a first of all a rust colour and then using a silver colour over the top of it to make that welded look and then I used a pencil to do the tally marks on the helmet I did actually forget to do them on the legs but the karma kind of covers anyway so that's all good and finally i added a weathered effect and this just really brought the figure together it just made it look really awesome and yeah i think that turned out amazingly and i just added the antenna on and the figure was finished so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next video also, if you're interested in buying any of my custom figures, I do have an eBay page. This Mandalorian figure is on there right now, so get it before it goes, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 